One of the most notorious and notable structures in the entire world is the Great Wall of China. Indeed, the Great Wall of China is one of the most significant building construction projects ever undertaken in the country's history. Some other names for this wall in Chinese include Ping Hin, Wan Li Chen Cheng or Wei Jil's Romanization, and Wan Li Chen Ching, which means 10,000 Li Long Wall. It is one of the most incredible or beautiful sites and the longest wall in the world. However, it consists of numerous walls that are parallel to each other. Apart from the walls, it includes horse tracks, watchtowers, shelters on the wall, fortresses, passes, and so on. We can say that it is an ancient series of walls and fortifications. Moreover, built for over two millennia across northern China and southern Mongolia, it is the best place to visit. Located in the north of China, it totals more than 13,000 miles in length. Perhaps, in China, it is the most recognizable symbol with a vivid and long history. It depicts from the record that Emperor Qin Shi Huang initially conceived this wall in the 3rd century before Christ. Most importantly, this happened to prevent incursions from the barbarian nomads. During the Ming dynasty, the Great Wall's best section started in the 14th through 17th centuries after Jesus Christ. The Great Wall begins at Shanhai Guan in Hebei and ends at Jiyua Guan in Gansu. In China, the Great Wall is a very powerful symbol of Chinese civilization's enduring strength. The Great Wall of China serves as a military defense system. It also contributes to profound literary culture through proverbs, idioms, and some great sayings. One of the most famous Great Wall saying is China will never fail. The Great Wall will never fall. The Great Wall of China's history is more than 2,000 years. In 770 to 476 before Christ, during the spring and autumn period, and in 475 to 221 before Christ, of the Warring State period, the princes ordered independent walls to protect the states. Around 650 before Christ, the construction of the wall took place between the states of Lu and Qi. Let's see all the dynasties who brought important participation in the construction of the Great Wall. The Qin Dynasty 221 to 206 before Christ. Emperor Qin Shi Huang conquered and unified other areas and ordered wall formation in the northern part of China by the states of Qin, Zhao and Yan. Therefore, all of them joined together to make a line of defense against Mongol harassment from the north. The most famous Han dynasty from 206 before Christ to 220 after Christ the northern fortifications lengthened with sections of wall running parallel for hundreds of kilometers. They interlink along the inner Mongolian border. The Han Dynasty Great Wall starts from the North Korea coast near Pyongyang to Jade Gate Pass, Yumenguan. It is 800 kilometers or 5,000 miles and the lands include many ranching walls, natural barriers, and trenches. The Yuan Dynasty, from 1271 to 1368. In Yuan Dynasty, non-Han people, the Mongols controlled China. It is the first dynasty in which the Great Wall did a great job of preserving Han China for 1,500 years. However, as China and Mongolia to the north were one, 
the building of the Great Wall of China surprisingly ceased during the Yuan Dynasty. The Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644. During the Ming Dynasty, China flourished, and then the rebuilding of the Great Wall took place in a 100-year project to prevent further northern invasion. As the building of the remaining Great Wall took place in the Ming Dynasty, the other name of the wall is the Ming Great Wall. Post-Ming history, from 1644 to present. At Shanghai Pass in 1644 by Manchu forces, a breach ended the Han control in China for the last Chinese dynasty, the Qing dynasty from 1644 to 1911. There is an end of construction and maintenance of the Great Wall. On the contrary, the Chinese government restored the Badalang section and opened it to the public in 1957 as a tourist attraction. The first question that might come to everybody's mind is how long the Great Wall of China is. So, the answer to this question is that the length of the wall was at the origin 21,196.18 km or 19,170.7 miles. Hence, this data comes from the State Administration of Cultural Heritage. However, the Great Wall covers 15 provincial level areas. Below are the names of the regions Beijing, Tianjin, Liaoning, Jilin, Heilongjiang, Hebei, Henan, Shandong, Shanxi, Shanxi, Hubei, Inner Mongolia, Ningxia, Gonzu, and Qinghai. The icon of China, the Great Wall, has more than 2,300 years and has been constructed in different areas by different states or dynasties. The primary aim of its construction is to protect different territorial borders. The Great Wall, builder was the first emperor of the Qin dynasty, from 221 to 207 before Christ. But before and after him, many dynasties built and rebuilt the Great Wall. 476 to 221 before Christ, the Warring States period. Overlords built kingdom border walls. From 221 to 206 before Christ, the Qin dynasty. The first emperor unified the Great Wall. From 206 before Christ to 220 after Christ, the Han dynasty. The emperor Han Wudi extended the Great Wall west to Yumenguan. 1368 to 1644, the Ming dynasty. Chinese hero general Qi Jingguang rebuilt the Great Wall. From 1957, People's Republic of China. Mao Zedong had the Badalang Great Wall section rebuilt. From 1978 till now, the post opening up. Deng Xiaoping's reforms started this era of foreign tourism and the Great Wall restoration. Over the centuries, the construction of the Great Wall of China took place for three main reasons. The three essential purposes are Kingdom border defense. The second reason is defending the northern border of China. And finally, the third purpose is tourism. Some other reasons include to prevent enemy invasions, to protect the Silk Road trade. In the Qin Dynasty, the emperor built the wall to prevent invasion from northern nations. The extension of the Great Wall of China took place in the Han Dynasty to protect the Silk Road trade. The building of the Great Wall of China took place by the most extraordinary human effort of any ancient construction. The majestic Great Wall of China has dedication, wisdom, blood, sweat, effort, and people's tears. Workers, peasants, 
weavers and soldiers. Materials include soil, stone, sand and brick. Material delivery took place. Warp, hand, cart, goat, wood, basket system and so on. Most of the families separated and workers died during the construction of the Great Wall of China. Many poets wrote great lines for people and expressed their resentment. Every brick, every stone and every inch of mud are filled with Chinese people's bones and sweet and blood. Designed to be three times the height of a man, the Great Wall of China is 5 to 8 meters, 16 to 26 feet. The construction of the wall is around ridges, so that makes them look much taller. The Great Wall of China is not just a wall, but is an integrated military defensive system. Thus, it includes watchtowers for surveillance, beacon towers for communications, fortresses for common posts and logistics, and so on. In the Ming Dynasty, with new construction techniques, it became much more robust and sophisticated. However, the Great Wall consists of the following. Franking towers, a franking tower on the Great Wall every 500 meters or less, 1640 feet, allowed defenders to shoot arrows at attackers. The wall body, the Ming Great Wall has parapet walls that are 1.2 meters, 4 feet high, and the battlements are 1.8 meters, 6 feet high, with loopholes and crenels. Fortresses, one can find access points like Shanghai Pass Fortress, Zhuyong Pass Fortress, and Jiayu Pass Fortress. There are many gates and archery windows on the fort. We all know that the Great Wall of China is most prominent ancient architecture with steep mountains and winding passes over rocked country and beautiful scenery. Hence, one can see the beaches of Qinhuangdao, the rugged mountains around Beijing and the desert corridor between tall mountains ranges. The following are some significant facts that one must know to appreciate fascinating China's Great Wall. First, in northern China, the Great Wall stretches from west to east, and it's more than 2,300 years old. The Chinese people bind the Great Wall bricks using glutinous rice flour. Third, World Heritage, list by UNESCO, placed the Great Wall in December 1987 in their list. The most visited Wall of China section is Badalang. Fifth, one cannot see the Great Wall of China from space by the human eye without aid. Sixth, there are some bullet holes in the Gubeiku section of the Great Wall, which indicate that people also fought the last battle. And the last one, it is not a continuous line as there are circular walls, parallel walls, side walls and sections with no fence. The Great Wall is the most fantastic icon of China that shows us its culture of national pride, grand projects and determined resistance. Similarly, it also depicts the creativity of the Chinese people and their extravagant architecture. It protects China's economic development and cultural progress safeguarding trading routes such as the Silk Road. As the Great Wall is famous worldwide because of its historical and archaeological value and majestic scenery, thus we can say that it is a must-visit China attraction. The Great Wall stretches thousands of miles. This project took the most prolonged duration and highest cost in human lives, blood, sweat and tears. In short, the Great Wall of China deserves its place among UNESCO World Heritage Sites and the, the most prominent new seven wonders of the world. I hope you learned more about the Great Wall of China. If you are interested in specific topics, let me know in the comments 
and I would be happy to cover them in my next videos. A big thank you to you and see you soon on this same channel.